just joining us at home, here are the eight things you need to know today. Fairpoint Communications employees could be getting back to work as early as next week. The company has reached a tentative agreement with the unions representing employees across northern New England. WMTW News 8's Morgan Sturdivan is live in Portland this morning to explain the next step. Good morning, Morgan. Yes, about 1,700 employees could be back to work as early as next Wednesday if they can agree on this proposal. It was announced yesterday afternoon and comes about six weeks after federal mediators brought the two sides back to the negotiating table. Those employees have been on strike since October when the co contract negotiations stalled over health care contributions. Neither side is discussing the details of the agreement right now. We do know later on this morning around 9 o'clock they will be meeting here at the fireside in on Riverside Street to go over the proposal, but we won't know the results of the voting until all employees from Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont have met. Live in Portland this morning, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8. Officials representing Maine nonprofits, hospitals, and private colleges are pushing back against Governor LePage's proposed budget. They gathered in Augusta yesterday to voice concerns. The governor's plan would require many of them to pay property taxes for the first time, which they say could put them out of business. LePage says they need to start paying their fair share. Right now, Gardner police are looking for the man seen in this surveillance video holding up a Rite Aid. It happened Wednesday afternoon. He never shows a weapon, but he did get away with some drugs. Police say a car was waiting outside, possibly a two-door green Pontiac Sunfire. Anyone with any information is asked to call Gardner police. And we're also getting our first look at a suspected bank robber in Brunswick. Police releasing this photo from the Bank of Maine branch on Main Street. Police say the man showed a gun, demanded cash, and ran off on Wednesday. Anyone who might recognize that man is asked to call police. Continuing the eight things that you need to know today, nearly 40% of Walmart employees will be getting raises. In April, pay will go up at least $9 an hour. Next year, it will be at least $10 an hour. Great news for them. The company is spending $1 billion to raise their wages. Other retailers might follow. Millions of Americans are waking up to sub-zero temperatures and wind chills this morning all along the East Coast. Even feeling the Arctic blast in Florida. <laughs> the temperature is a big concern for citrus growers, though. A number of cities are breaking records. If you needed a sign of spring, well, here it is, a long last. Red Sox pitchers and catchers report to spring training at Fort Myers, Florida today. So exciting. The Sox hoping to erase memories of last season's last place finish. <laughs> the first full workout for pitchers and catchers is tomorrow, and the first full squad workout is on Wednesday. Feeling good about it. And that's funny, uh, you talk about Florida. I was just looking uh, online and I saw that a lot of places down there, like the villages, are 30 right now. They get freeze mornings down to Miami. Really bad cold. And of course, it's up here too. So, a very cold day today. The good news is low clouds are clearing out. So, we're starting to see some blue sky here. Uh, and it's going to be a nice cold start to the weekend for LA, the Ice Fest LA, which is where we've been reporting from live here in Lewiston all morning long. It's a great event. It starts. 5 o'clock uh, to 9 o'clock tonight, and then there's a family fun day, uh, family day on Sunday. So, uh, all kinds of fun here. Great to see the ice sculpting and all the activities going on. Lewiston forecast, though, it's not going to be very warm today. The wind is uh, already with us this morning. It's going to get stronger with gusts to 30 to 35 miles per hour. Temperatures only in the teens here in Lewiston. Back to you, uh, Mallory.